Okay, right. This is the last part. This is that part of that question. This is question four. Four C. Question four C. So we carry on with the trigonometry theme here. So we have d to e is 32 millimeters, f to e is 48 millimeters. We've got to work out the angle y. It's a very clear to one decimal place. So let's have a look what we do first. The first thing that we do is label up the diagram, and we say opposite the angle involved. Opposite the angle is called the Opposite. Opposite. Now, next. Opposite the right angle always is the? HYP. HYP. Or the hypo What's the hypobotanus? <laughs> Sorry, the hypotenuse. Okay, and then the remaining side will have to be? The adjacent. The adjacent. You always label the adjacent last. So now you've labeled it all up, and we want to work out the angle. So the angle here is the culprit. We're going to work that out. Now, what do we know in this question? What letters do we know, Idris? Can you say back to me what's it sound like? We know, uh, we know the O and the A, and O and A together makes Ova. And from Ova, we're going to be using Tova. So that's the tan identity. So when we, for example, looking at soccer Tova, because we've got an O and A, that's the, that's the last identity, and I'm going to write it in the triangular format. Now, this symbol here, theta, which is the Greek symbol, we use that for angle. This here actually corresponds to my y. We'll do that in a bit. Now, what do we know? We know the O value and we know the A value. We've got to work out this value. So we know it, we know it, and we don't know it. Two ticks in the cross, yes? Hmm? Okay, there. You want some enemy? Okay, now what we do? As I said before, we cover up this way. You want to work out, you cover it with your thumb. So now, as uh, Mr. Harun has just told us, if you cover this up, you have to do O divided by A. So that's why you use the formula triangle. You cover up with your thumb what you want, what you want to work out, and it tells you what to do. So let's write that down. So let's write down tan of the angle. Okay, what can I replace the angle with? I can replace the angle with. In, my, in the context of my question, the angle is what? What's the angle? Y. Tan of Y is equal to the O divided by the A. The O divided by the A. I'm just going to write down the formula for the moment. That's what the tan of Y is. Now, in this particular question, if I, do I want to work out the tan of Y or do we want to work out just Y on its own? We need to work out the y on its own. Y on So what do we do with the tan then in that case? Make so, so tan is acting on the y, so we've got to take the tan from the left hand side to the right hand side and Add do the opposite of tan, it's called inverse tan. Okay, so we have now y is equal to tan to the minus 1 of O over A. So that is, so from the over, from the over we can see that we're going to cover this part up with our finger. And that gives us this, that's the interpretation from the triangle. Then we start rearranging the equation because we want to work out the y. So once we rearrange it, now we're ready to put the values in. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going I'm to cheat a bit, I'm just going to rub off the O. Okay, I'm putting the value off. 32. You can't rub off the O unless you use a pencil. Then we're going to rub off the A and put in the value of 48. So now I'm going to go through with you the calculator button. So I want everybody to do the same, please. Press shift. Press shift first, then the tan button. Then you press your fraction button. And then you type in 32. Replay 48. Replay again. Bring the uh, cursor back up. Press the bracket. Press equal. We'll get an answer of 33.69006. Ramiz, can you feed that number back to me, please? Y is equal to 33.69005. Now, the question says here, if I look at the written paper, give your answer correct to 1 DP. Okay, now, 1 DP, let's have a. So, let's just go through the technique here. So, that's my first decimal place. So, top of line down here, that's my last digit. That's my decider. If it's five or more, we add one to the last digit. 
So the six then becomes a seven. seven. So I'm gonna rub that off, change that into seven, and get rid of everything else. That was originally here. And that's my answer done. So y is equal to 33.7 degrees, because it's an angle. That's that question done.